Welcome back, everybody. And we're here with more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And we're getting right into it. Does it go off? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Important questions! What can I say? Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Now do as you are told. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask Grotus? I want you to ask... Oh. Why in the world would Tech want me to go ask about that? He sure is a weird computer. Sir Grotus, why don't I have a penis? Oh, is this the elevator you wanted me to go I, I mean, it opened. Didn't it? Please wait just a moment. There is currently a soldier in the vicinity. Huh? Can you imagine not noticing a person standing next to you? Now, Princess Peach. After leaving the elevator, head to the right. It is the room nearby with the green lamp. What's Luigi doing here? place. No, I want to go in there, though. I don't care about this guy's secret mission shit. I'm gonna let Lord Rubba know that Princess Peach is gone. Please change here. Quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in the locker. Hey, I'm checking for other people. Can't be too safe. Nah. Give me something cute. Just kidding. Thank you. Oh, is this the uniform? Supposed to wear this ugly thing? I'm sorry, is it not a big fucking blue gem the size of your head? Imagine wearing that thing around. It's about the size of her shoulder. Oof. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight and it kind of smells a bit. Phew, who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. Cap. I bet I look perfect. Why'd I put so much zest on that? Mm. It felt like it needed zest, but like... Blend in. Don't mind me, fellas. <laughs> what, what? What is it? If you have nothing to say, then don't speak to me. I'm busy. See, I've got a busy x naught clipboard here. And it says, do not disturb. Mm. My bad, fuckhead. Shit.
Wait, what happened? Trap, this must be the wrong place. Well, where the fuck do I go then? Here? Clearly not. Is it really just the door to my right? Yep. Just hide in the doorway. Excuse me, Sir Grotus? <laughs> yes, what is it? Speak. Well, it's about Princess Peach. What, what, what do you plan to do when they're going forward? <laughs> Something is wrong with your voice, x -Nop. Perhaps I have a thought lozenge. No, no. Well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. I'll just keep her locked in her room. But don't ever... Ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, but why? Why in the world are we keeping her here then? <laughs> That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impotent worm. <laughs> Concentrate on getting the crystal stars. That is all I require of you. We exnots need the legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget. The world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering on about now? Hmm, something is odd about you. <laughs> no, nothing odd. Uh, so, uh, Roger, whatever. Please excuse me. How do you know to do that, bitch? Ain't nobody did that in front of you on, on in the game. Oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world talk about creepy. Now what if that ha has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars? I suppose we better get dressed. Off with this thing. Pink dress. My favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I better get back quickly. Ah, okay. That, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course, after all, I was built for that purpose. Conquer the world. How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world. Many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there's also joy. Is that so? Tell me. Will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. Answering these questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mari about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant! The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Get back to your room, please. Since when are you able to make inflection in your voice? You're a super computer, but you're just a fucking computer. Can't even make it out of this room, bitch. Good night, Princess Peach.
Oh, Bowser again. <coughs> what? <laughs> Why is he here? <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> that, that, that thing is humongous. Everybody hide now! Save yourselves! Who would have thought that a fool Mario would be in Glitzville, of all places? Did you say something, your rudeness? <coughs> oh no, nothing at all as far as you know. Hey, can you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those are some punies. Oh, one of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them and all... Let's find them all and force them to tell us about the Crystal Star. This guy, big and bad, large. Why did why why didn't it work for the other one? Don't worry, Petunia. Your big brother is here. We'll get through this. Be gone! Who are them, are you? All those evildoers. You want our crystal star? Heh. <laughs> See? I knew it! This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is! Tell us! How rude! Ugly thing, how dare you! You wretched draw! I am the great puny elder! Eep! My heart! Don't startle me like that! I'm too old for this stuff! They're both too old. Ahem. Uh, yes, Lord Bowser. You look as if you're just dying to say something. Uh, no, no, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You elder hag thing. Where's the crystal star? And don't you try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will be your fate. <laughs> hey, thing. Honestly. In any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. Hmm? What? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Martio. He said he was collecting the crystal stars to rescue some princess. What did he call her, Princess Pinch? Yeah. You saw have to save that lucky ass. It's Mario. Not Mario. I don't remember what her voice was now. I completely lost it. I don't know where it went. It is not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. <coughs> let me, let me. But your senility is beside the point. The Princess of the Crystal Stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasure's Princess, does his greed never end? That jackal. Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me. To. Me. If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all. I swear it. Is that it? I thought he was going to do some cool shit again. He did some cool shit last time. So, now you must sleep. I understand if you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Those. I want to tell you, Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty no more. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. I normally say vitamins, I just felt like he was going to say vitamins because he's a fucking twat. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember when life you rock back. Listen, G Money. Thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I've ever met. And if you never need it, I've got your back. 
Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And it's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. <coughs> now that Grub is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fan, and they'd absolutely love it if you laid a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Oh, well, that's that. Sweet. Another crystal star. That's three, right? We'd better roll back to Rockport, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, is Jolene still working over here? Nope. Oh, that guy's gone too. Good, he was a creep. Yeah. Yeah, what's over here? You know, item store. I'm not interested. Yeah. yeah. The next cheap sheep lamp is bound for the town of Rogue Point. Would you like to board? It's the only place to go. Why do you tell me that every time? If it looks in order, we will take it. Please watch your step as you board. Fucking. Gonzalez, you got an email. Here is Mario. I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the X not they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're seeking the crystal stars and trying to claim electric treasure. I like to see those motherfuckers take on the Bean Bean Kingdom. I want to see that. I still don't know what the treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the crystal stars. I will gather what information I can. Yours truly, Peach. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink. Be a real bummer. No, it, it, it really put a damper? On my evening, okay? Shut the fuck up. Why are you so scared? I almost fell on the great man that was close. I know where that thing leads to all too well, and I don't want to go there. Then don't. Well, it looks like what's left. <gasps> oh boy! Well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plum Belly Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one. I'll tell you that. It was pretty wild, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Mm -hmm. Plum Belly Village. Well, like I said, it's a really long story. But here goes. Once we made landfall on the Stool Continent, we made for Plum Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. This bomb arm looks like a cherry. Well, we learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. He said that the beast demanded he offer up his own daughter as a sacrifice too. So of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom orders for sacrifices to be dressed as brides. So I got all dolled up. It was one hot sacrifice, bro. You missed it. I had the big old fake titties and the, the BBL, just like Drake. I looked so good, I fooled her force, and I got in his lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. She phone really chafes, bro. I finally found his, and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted really quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up fangs better to attack, and at that moment, I deathly lunged left. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining palette fell down on the spot where his body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it 
and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it, she was sorta cute. But you know, I like the way I look in that mirror better than the way she looks with my real eyes. So I took my big old fake titties and Drake BBL on the home with me. But we ended up sneaking off her the next morning too. So I didn't even really worry about her that much. I still think about her at least twice a week. I mean, I still have to save Princess Declare from the Chestnut King. And uh, when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Declare's voice. Do you think Daisy will get jealous? Why are you sleeping? My heart is. That's when I realized Princess Declare, I think I... Oh, I kind of zoned out there. Um, so yeah, we set sail again after our ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here to Rogueport. And here I am. Wanna hear about something else? Fuck no, man. I ain't have any repeat shit. What do you got to say about him? Hi, I guess I'm Jerry. I'm a bob I'm from Plum Valley Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down. I'm sorry, he's supposed to sound down. But you would be too if you'd seen Luigi's big bridal stunt show. He's so clumsy in heels, but to watch those big fake titties jiggle all over the place. He was like a wobbly force of nature. Falling down everywhere, knocking things over when he turned, tumbling into people. Now, I have an obligation to tag along and clear the area if Luigi so much as to glance at a stiletto. Somebody has to be the herald of the cobbly, cup coming wobble apocalypse. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. He burnt a fucking octopus. Like, what the? How do you burn an octopus? They, they live in the water. Why do you take it to a volcano? You, you need to get a life. Damn, you shook for a long time. And I would like to thank y'all for tuning in. Nah, this this has been a fun one. That was that was a fight for sure. But um, Mario's gonna end it. Wow, they made a sound effect for the rope. Is that dark? I don't know. But we're gonna have to answer not that question, but where we're going next. Next time, I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in. I'll catch you on the flip flop. Peace.